with a chair called David Yang, testifying on behalf of himself, testifying for House Bill 3785. Hi, good evening, uh, committee, committee chair and the committee members. Uh, I am David Yang, I'm Dr. David Yang, and I'm here to uh, testify the, uh, the bill 3785, and I'm, I'm also in favor of this 3785. I am a professor at the uh, Diagnostic Imaging from MD Anderson Cancer Center, and I've been there with 26 years. So I have been really involved in the drug discovery using the imaging technology, and we are especially using the uh, nuclear imaging technology to select the patient who will respond to the treatment. So yes, there are technologies already out there can monitoring the treatment outcome. Let me go back to talk about the marijuana. It's, it is just a broad spectrum antioxidant. So when you look at the antioxidant, yes, it is a free radical scavenger. So it is a cytoprotectant. So the next thing we should look at, is it safe? Yes, it is safe. You can use almost 1.2 gram per day. And it is effective. It has been shown in many, many clinical studies in neurology, cardiology, and oncology. And those are the major three fields. I'm in the cancer field. Certainly, I'm looking at the opportunity. How would this marijuana benefit to our cancer patient? That's what I'm looking. So by passing this beer, what I'm looking at is you give the clinician an opportunity to offer another category of the drugs. And for the uh, translational people like me, I'm doing a lot of translational work. So we go from, from bench to bedside. So then we, are, we will be able to carefully looking at what is the best ratio of these extracts. How would that in the benefit of that? Because we can use imaging to guide it, the treatment outcome. So of course, in the basic research, as I have just sent you some flyers, in the basic research, certainly they are looking at the molecular mechanism, the working hypothesis. And that working hypothesis, because it is a broad spectrum material, in a cancer, certainly we are looking at what is it, which, which one is your target gene. We know this material can inhibit the gene, ID1. And so you can slow down the cancer cell growing. And in the inflammation, that, that's where the pain co coming from. So the inflammation really linking to the, the cell membrane, the, the fatty acid the metabolism, and then going down to the prostaglandin, going to the uh, uh, leukotriene. So that's the pain mechanism. So there's a lot of research on there. And yes, yeah, good for the peripheral neuropathy yeah, because you know, those are good for AIDS patients because we are looking at, this, at the improvement on the, uh, the uh, uh, CD4, the T4 functions. So, the, so there are the little are already out there. But what I really wanted to point out, what is great for the state of Texas is passing this beer, giving the young generation an opportunity to looking for a new research project. We are creating a job opportunity. We are giving them an opportunity to, to understand this old herbs for the new indication. And I think that is very important for the young generation. We offer them the job opportunity, the economy is going to be better. Everybody is going to be happy. So I just don't see why we should be against for that. I'm looking at the, the uh, research end, and I think that's the opportunity. So thanks for giving me your time, and I hope you will agree with me. Thanks. <laughs> We're not sure. <laughs> uh, questions, members? Madam Chair. Uh, uh, Representative Coleman. Coleman. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, you went through, you were very good at going fast. Uh, <laughs> so you could do local and consent. Um, <laughs> uh, but just, just two things to just get some a little more um, detail. So there are established uses of medical marijuana for cancer, and then there are others we may not know about and it, where marijuana is used in different ways. Can you just give us a few examples of both uh, where you talked about cellular level and th th these other things that I, I wouldn't know anything about, but, but th that means there's something more than just getting rid of pain or, or, or it, I think that's what I hear being suggested. I, I think you are looking at the molecular mechanism. When the things works, you have a lot of romance. If things doesn't work, it doesn't matter. So when marijuana works on the pain, then we start saying, yeah, how would that work on the pain? 
So because it's uh, slow down the lipid metabolism, right. so then you, you slow down the lipid metabolism. Okay, so when you look at how will that improve the, in the uh, some other disease, will that be a good immunomodulator? That means, yes, we are looking at the uh, calcium channel. We are looking at uh, the uh, neurotransmitter cascade. That's what the GPCR, we call G-protein coupling receptors. That's nothing but the neurotransmitter cascade. Yeah. So that means it's GPCR and the calcium channel complex. This marijuana can inhibit calcium channel. And the calcium, once you get in the, inside the cells, you trigger all the translational or transcriptional, means DNA proliferation. So you shut down that. That's how the uh, cancer side works. Also, it works on some other uh, chronic disease, chronic you know, immune disease. Excellent. I, I actually did understand that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Um, Thank you for panel number two.